Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God of Israel. Let all the earth be silent and praise ye the Lord so that the rocks don't have to cry out because they will if God can't find a man. Prophet Mark here today, we're going to have a prayer service. I thought I was going to have it Sunday and God said, we don't have time. You're going to wait till Sunday. Things might be different. I need you to go in Friday early and I need you to pray. So what I'm getting ready to do, the prophet's getting ready to do, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray. It's in five parts. I'm praying for Israel. Y'all know what's going on. And if you didn't, you'll hear it in my mouth. Then I'm going to pray for the Rose City, Portland, Oregon. I lived there for 30 years. You know what's going on. Then I'm going to pray for the church, the church, the, the parachurch, church and state. I'm going to pray for the church and the government. And then lastly, I'm going to pray for our families. God has spoken once again, and we're in a new dimension. We're in a new parameter, and we're about to see some things that we've never seen before. I've been prophesying because God says where there is a prophet, there he does not do anything without the prophets because they get the chauffeur and they sound the alarm. They are the watchmen on top of the towers. They are watching and they are going in and they are speaking the word of the Lord. So I'm getting ready to pray. We want to pray for Israel. First of all, I want to, I'm going to challenge each and every one of you right now. This is the most important time for me in my ministry at 56 years old because I must give you this report. We must pray. But I want to go to Matthew 26 first, and I want to read something, Matthew 26, about what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 26, verse 38, then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, this is Jesus, even unto death. Stay here and watch with me. 39, he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, oh my father, if it is possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless that's my lord jesus and yours too not as i will but as you will verse 40 then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to peter what could you not watch with me one hour watch and pray lest you enter into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak 42 again a second time he went away and prayed saying Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. 43. And he came and found them asleep again, again, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again and prayed the third time. The third time, saying the same words. You better say the same edification. 45. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, that means look. The hour is at hand and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of a sinner, Judas. He says, rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer as at hand. See, my betrayer is at hand. And it is at hand right now. Israel is in war. Luke 21 talks about it. It says when they surround Jerusalem with troops, you must understand near is close or it is close the tribulation period it's a seven year period but God said in his new testament that if it wasn't cut short in a half times half that that time half is three and a half seven divided by two is three and a half well we started I believe January when Kobe Bryant died 2020 and we're in 2021 so I am getting ready and I'm challenging you to pray and intercede God says when there's one or two in the house then he's there and then he's present and then he will fulfill that word even though it may Terry, he says, I want you to run with it. Even though it may delay, it surely will come to pass. It surely will come to pass. I speak in the name of Jesus about Israel. 
the apple of our eye. Father God, and I'm praying for Israel. It is your place. It is your place of perfection. It is your place of glory. It is your place in Jacob. It is your place in Abraham. It's your place in the Moses. It's your place in the Joshua's. It is your place in the Adam. There's a new Adam and it's Jesus Christ. And in Palestine and in Israel and in Judah, in southern Judah, there is a Christ. He's Jesus. And they persecuted him 2,000 years ago, but he didn't care. And you saw, I read it in Matthew 26, and he said, I must pray three times. I'm here to speak the word. Israel will not die. Jesus Christ says, oh, when you think it's close in the troops and it's getting ready to go down and be trampled, it was destroyed twice before, but a remnant will be saved in the olive tree. I'm praying against them over there because Jesus will win this war. Jesus will win the war over there in Israel. Jesus will win the war in your house. Jesus is going to win the war. I'm praying right now about Israel. I'm asking all those that can pray to pray because you may think this is a joke, but this is tribulation. This is death. This is darkness. But God told me to tell you Israel will be found. But when it's found, those Israelites will say he is the Messiah. Jesus. He is the Christ. He is the Lord. I'm praying for Israel because we, we United States, we're connected to them. I can't really speak in codes, but I have to because they will try to kill me, but I must speak the word of the Lord. Israel will be saved by Yahshua himself. He will bring back the ark down from his kingdom on the right hand side of the father in Jesus name I'm here to speak over the rose city the rose of Sharon is Jesus and they've been murdering people in Revelation it talks about a man conquering and killing and destroying but Jesus is waiting and I'm here to speak the word over Portland Oregon if you want to win if you want to live call on Christ I think you might have to do it oh get on your knees, on your belly like Jonah, even though you might go in a well. I'm speaking to you now. Jesus told me, oh, he's going to spit you out. But when he spits you out, you will be on dry land and he will give you benefits. I'm here to speak the word. All my friends in Portland, Oregon, I'm praying for you right to now. I've been waiting 30 years for this experience and I'm in the Christ. I'm in the Christ. I want to pray about the church, the ecclesia of the Lord, the gathered church. I went to City Bible, but I'm not bragging. I'm here to tell you that's the ecclesia. The ecclesia can be in the house. The ecclesia can be in the bathroom. The ecclesia can be on the roof. The ecclesia is where things transform. All this prophet is here to tell you that the church is looking for an intercessor. God told me to tell you that he is looking for someone to go out and speak the word. Does it have to be Moses? Does it have to be Joshua? He told me, Mark, do it, so I must do it. The church will survive. He has prophets in the end, but they will live and not die. In the Old Testament, there was a prophet that thought there was none left, but God says, oh, I've saved a couple for you, and and there's more in America right now. They're coming out of the caves. I'm one of them. Speak the word of the Lord. I'm calling on government officials. I'm here to speak the word to you. My Jesus told me that he's getting ready to loose this nation. And if you don't believe me, you think we're Ichabob, where the glory left. But God told me to tell you that there's been some praying people and the glory is back. It's returned. I'm here to speak speak the word to you that it is back but you officials it's getting ready to be a transfer I can't
can't tell you what it's going to look like. But when you hear the sound of the chauffeur, there will be a shift. There will be a shaking. There will be an earthquake. There will be a release of the middle of the United States. And it's going to shake. And then it's going to crack open. And the earth is going to open up. And then you shall see it. You don't have to believe me. You didn't believe Noah. But you will believe me after it's done. Now I want to talk to the family. I want to talk to the family. You might be scared. but Or you might act like you got pride. But I'm here here to speak to you right now. God told me to tell you there's an open heaven. They can't even kill you. They can't even destroy you. The bullets will stop because there's transparency and angels all around you. It will work. It won't die. I'm here to speak and tell you you can live. Oh, open up your mouth and be like Joseph. That's why they wanted to kill him. When you have the right vision, God says it's not a television, but it's my vision. I'm here to speak to the family. He told me there's a new Adam back. It's you and your wife. Whoever it is, start to be a lover of your soul. God told me to tell you if you love on him and kiss on him, he'll kiss you back. Oh, in the name of Jesus, he told me to tell you if you love him the right way, he will love on you and you will never thirst again. I'm here to give you the right report. I don't care what you're going through. I'm just like Moses and I can hear him saying, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. When Israel was getting ready to get vexed by Pharaoh, he told them, do you want to go back there and do that in servitude or do you want to have faith? I'm here to tell you, God told me to tell you we're getting ready to go across to the other side. But when we get to the other side, we're going to have some gold. We're going to have some silver because he told me to tell you it ain't over but you got to get in the boat the boat the ark of the covenant it's Jesus it's Jesus I'm here to announce this prophet is getting ready to take off and I'm here to tell you it's not over we're in tribulation but God says no weeping may door through the night, but joy comes in the morning. God says he wants to put you in the strong tower where the righteous run in and they are safe. Proverbs 28, 10, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want y'all to know I'm about done. I'm about done. This sweat coming off of me, the sweat comes off because it's tears, it's pain, and I'm sweating because when you want to come out and you want to change, you'll have pain. But I'm here to tell you if you can push through your pain, God told me it's getting ready to rain on you. He's getting ready to transfer the wealth of the wicked to the righteous in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Prophet Mark, I just wanted y'all to bless you. I want y'all to know, if you kiss Jesus, he will kiss you back, but it won't be the kiss of the serpent, Judas, but it will be the, the kiss, the shik. In the Hebrew, is the kiss of life, not death. I hope you will join arms with me, pastors, prophets, teachers, apostles. Join arms with me. We want to bring the body back in alignment. We all have gifts. Reach out to me if you want. We can have prayer groups, whatever you want. I love you guys. Family, hang in there. Church and state, let's do this. Government officials, we're watching you. Government officials, we're watching you. But more importantly, Jesus told me to tell you, he's on to you. He's on to you. But anyways, I bless you. I hope you enjoyed this. Pray. One, two, or gathered. There's power. That's why they got the mask on them. That's why they don't want nobody going to church. That's why they don't want nobody exercising. That's why they don't want nobody drinking water. That's why they don't want nobody riding their bicycle. That's why they don't want nobody to go outside. The mask 
cut off your breathing, your oxygen. So that's why our brains and our eyes aren't as white as they were before because Satan knows what he's doing, but he's been defeated. In Jesus' name, bless y'all. Prophet Mark, Apostle Mark.